the office of a prophet in Israel, and they have a specific function. Basically, you have the king, who is a secular authority, and the prophet is to the king as the Supreme Court is to the president. It's a check on his power. It's somebody who has the authority and the ability to walk into the throne room and grab the king by the stacking swivel and say, I'm going to talk, O king, and you're going to listen. Nathan does that. Okay, that happens a lot. In the case of these two guys, they also prefigure Messiah because a lot of the stuff that they do, the Messiah will also then do. All the stuff that Yeshua did was wonderful, but it wasn't anything that Israelites hadn't read of before. So, for example, if Yeshua were to appear today and raise somebody from the dead and all that kind of stuff, it would be a wonderful thing, it would be a miracle, but it wouldn't be anything that we weren't familiar with. In other words, this guy is doing what the Bible says somebody in his class should be able to do, therefore he is somebody in the class. It's not like an alien drops in and turns into a sunflower, which is nowhere in Scripture. 